Dr. Jenks. Play math. Hello, my play math friends. It's Dr. Jen. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about a bug named Joe who is struggling to fit in with the marching infantry. He tries several different combinations of groups to find one that will allow him to join the formation. Do you want to know whether he succeeds his attempt? Don't forget to watch all the way through, because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? A remainder of one, by Eleanor J. Tensis, illustrated by Bonnie McCain. The story of Joe might just well explain what happens to numbers when they must remain after division, and they're left behind as lonesome remainders. It seems so unkind. Down by an orchard of a young apple trees, the sunshine felt hot, about 90 degrees. So insects all scurried for any cool shade. From mushroom or leaf, they watched a parade. The 25th squadron marched past a bug shroud, bound and determined to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by two for the show. Each buck had a partner, except Soldier Joe. Hop, two, three, four. We're in the 25th Army Corps. Queen's count, two, three. We are the marching infantry. The queen wasn't pleased. We are unhappy to find that one soldier is left at the end of a line. A honeybee hovered above Lone Joe's hat. The queen likes things tidy, the bee sternly said. I'm sorry, Private said Joe's surgeon Stephen. You must stand aside so the troop will be even. The two lines of twelve then marched neatly away, while Buck Soldier Joe had no choice but to stay. Lone Soldier Joe learned it wasn't much fun to find himself labeled remainder of one. The brainy bug soldier stayed up the whole night. Perhaps one more line would make everything right? All 25 soldiers marched past the bug crowd, nervously hoping they'd make their queen proud. The troop had divided by three for the show. Each line seemed perfect. Then someone spied Joe. Hop, two, three, four. We're in the 25th Army Corps. Queen's count, two, three. We are the marching infantry. The regal hat shook. It's disturbing to find one oddball bug at the end of a line. A slender mosquito loomed over Joe's hat. Too bad you are a misfit, the pat sharply said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's surgeon Stephen. If you stand aside, then the troop will look even. 
the three lines of eight all marched neatly away. While sad and disheartened, poor Joe had to stay. The oddball Buck Joe knew it was much fun to feel so left out, a remainder of one. Again, the lone soldier thought all through the night. With one more bug line, it might work out right. The 25th Squadron marched past the bug crowd, anxiously longing to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by four for the show. The lines all looked even till they spotted Joe. Her Highness pointed. We are angry to find a tag along bug at the end of one line. A shy dragonfly fluttered over Joe's head. Now, don't get discouraged, the fly softly said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. You must stand aside, then the troop will be even. As four lines of six marched so neatly away, said Joe couldn't watch, for he had to stay. Poor Tagalong Joe didn't have any fun, always left out, a remainder of one. But hard-thinking Joe had the answer that night. Another bug line must make it work right. The 25th Squadron marched past the proud queen, the neatest, best troopers that she'd ever seen. Five lines of soldiers with five in each row. Perfect at last, and that's counting Joe. Good show, said her grace. Your rows are divine. We see no remainder to ruin your line. The troop took great pride in their skills at dividing. Joe was pleased he was there marching, not hiding. The coolest buck soldier beneath the hot sun? Smart Joe, the former remainder of one. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need any 25 objects that you can use as counters. I'm gonna use flat glass marbles this time. Tell your kid that the queen in the book needs help to line up her army into even and equal lines or groups. The queen has 25 members in her bug army. First, we read the sentence from the book, the troop had divided by two for the show, and have your kid arrange 25 marbles into groups of two. Your kid will be able to make two groups of 12, but will have one left over. To facilitate your kid's thinking, you can ask questions like, there are 25 buck soldiers, can they make two even and equal lines? You can also help your kid clarify his or her findings by saying, So we can say 25 bucks divided into two groups has 12 bucks in each line with one bug left over, right? Writing the division equation is also helpful. Continue the same process until your kid make five groups of five with no remainder. This activity helps kids understand the concept of division by grouping numbers into equal parts, sometimes with remainders, other times without remainders.
You can always present different scenarios and numbers to group and divide. Use larger or smaller numbers depending on your kid's ability. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!